7.6 number 12. We're going to continue on solving rational equations using the same three-step approach. First multiply by the LCD, solve the resulting equation, check the solution. Now the first thing I would notice about this one is that there are variables in the denominator. As soon as I see variables in the denominator, I look to see what value of the variable will make the denominator equal zero. And then I make a note to myself. m equals 3 makes denominator equal to 0. So m cannot equal 3. And no matter what your denominator is, you can always figure out what makes it go to 0 by setting it equal to 0 and solving that equation. So for example, to get this conclusion here, I could have said my denominator, m minus 3, equals 0. Go through the steps of solving an equation. It equals 0 when m equals 3. All right, so we don't want the denominator to be 0. So I'm not going to allow this solution if it comes out as my answer. So let's go ahead with our normal steps now. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. And I'm going to find my LCD. LCD equals m minus 3. Multiply both sides by m minus 3. And the m minus 3 multiplies each term once. So now I can distribute. m minus 3 multiplies m over m minus 3. Take away m minus 3 multiplying 4. I guess I'll put parentheses there too, just to be consistent. Equals m minus 3 multiplying 3 over m minus 3. All right, so everybody, or each term, gets the denominator one time. m minus 3 cancels top and bottom. m minus 3 stays here, no canceling. It cancels here. So that leaves me with m for the first term. And then take away 4 times m minus 3. So I just switched the order here of the 4 and the m minus 3, which is fine because they're being multiplied. So we can switch the order. Equals 3. Now we just keep going and solve it like we normally would. So we're going to distribute. So we get m take away 4m plus 12 equals 3. Watch the signs again when you're distributing there. m minus 4m is minus 3m plus 12 equals 3. Take away 12 on both sides because we're isolating the m. Minus 3m equals minus 9. And dividing off the minus 3 on both sides, we get m equals 3. But m cannot equal 3, because if we look at the original equation, that was one of the solutions to watch out for. If m is 3, we get 3 minus 3. That's 0. We don't want 0 in the denominator. When you get a solution that makes the denominator 0, cross it out. You don't want to accept it. And seeing how there is no other solution here, our only possible answer is there is no solution to this equation. 